With the World Economic Forum in full swing and the world's leaders present in Davos, Euronews took the opportunity to discuss tensions between the European Union and Poland with the country's Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. Prime Minister, we're here at the World Economic Forum. Therefore, let me start with the question on economy. What's your take? How is Polish economy doing? How has it been done in last year and this forecast for this year? Twelve months ago, in many brokerage houses and financial institutions have actually had forecasted that there would be maybe 2% to 2.5% of GDP growth in Poland for 2017. The actual, actual growth was 4.5%, so we have exceeded all expectations. So you do share all this Davos optimism coming from the International Monetary Fund, of course, forecast on Monday? Yes and no. I share it with regard to some aspects and with regard to Poland, of course, because there is lots of optimism about our economy and this part of the, of the world. But uh, as in the magic mountain of Thomas Mann 100 years ago, the elites, who, which gathered also here in Davos, were not so much aware of the risks coming. I think that it's very good that we are discussing the risks, uh, the, the black swans which may appear on the horizon. What are those risks you've just mentioned? What are the most significant risks? The, the risks uh, are around inequalities, the risks are around imbalances, the risks are around you know, huge surpluses in one country like China or northern, northern countries of the European un Union, uh, current account surpluses, trade surpluses, and huge deficits in, in other countries. These are all, uh, all risks. What's your take on the current relations between Poland and the EU amid, of course, the recent turmoil we have all witnessed? It could have been better. It, 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 we are working on this to be better because I, I, I want Poland to be a reliable partner for the entire European Union and I believe that today we bring lots of new uh, values, uh, fresh air to the European Union. Uh, we Do you see the European Union, excuse me, as a reliable partner? Yes, yes. Um, it, it's, 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 a, it's a combination of 28 countries, 28 different interests. So I'm, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm, I'm not basing my philosophy on utopias. I'm realist and I, I know that uh, those interests are sometimes uh, um, contradictory with, with each other. Uh, and, and I know that we have to better explain uh, why we are doing this reform, why we are doing the other reform. You want to, you, you want to continue the dialogue to make sure that you oh, understood I, I correctly? Yeah, I don't, not, not only I want to continue the dialogue, I want to enhance the dialogue, I want to present white paper on the judiciary system reform, just to explain uh, why the particular elements of the entire um, reform are actually, um, are actually not only good, and, but we also create a, a better judiciary system in Poland. Better, I mean, more independent, more objective, more reliable, more efficient, uh, and more transparent. This, this, is, this is extremely important for me because I believe that the, uh, the economic system and social system has to rely on efficient and independent judiciary system, which was not the case so far. Our judiciary system was stemming from the uh, post-communist times. We have heard yesterday in Davos from Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron on their vision how to reform the European Union. What's your vision? How to reform the EU so that it's more balanced and it works better for everybody, for all the countries? How would you do that? In Europe, we need more competition to be more competitive vis-à-vis -vis China and India and the United States. So uh, all the Schumpeterian challenges coming from Central Europe should be welcomed by our friends in Western Europe rather than fend off and, and build protectionist barriers. So this is one element which I would like to emphasize. The other one is the small and mid-sized enterprises. They, they, we should create an even better platform for them to freely operate in the 
entire European Union uh, because this is the, the backbone of our economies in Poland very much so but also in many other countries like in Germany and I promote the, the Mittelstand German companies coming to Poland and building the ties between Polish and German companies Austrian Dutch companies I I think it's very good for our uh, companies but there is still still too much of red tape for for for, for small and mid-sized uh, companies and uh, as far as the vision is uh, for 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 European Union is concerned I think we are uh, composed of the European Union of 28 independent sovereign states and and uh, we we have to stay as as united as as we can but at the same time uh, respecting the right of each sovereign state to build uh, their uh, uh, their uh, regulatory framework their regulatory system uh, the judiciary home affairs um, refugees migration so critically important systems uh, uh, as as they as they uh, as they wanted to be thank you very much for this interview thank you very much thank you thank you